This was one of the most requested videos on my channel. But before we dive in, if you don't have Stockfish on your phone, check out this video. But if you already have Stockfish, then welcome to the club. First, open Droidfish. Click on the top left corner, then go to Manage Chess Engine. Select Engine and choose Stockfish 16.1. Now click on the top left corner again. Go to Manage Chess Engine, but this time, click on Set Options. You'll see an interface like this. The second option is Threads, which will be set to 1 by default. If your phone has a 4-core processor, write 4 here. But if your phone has an 8-core processor, write 8 here. Now, let's assume that cores mean CPUs. This change will make Stockfish use 4 or 8 CPUs instead of just one CPU to think. Now most of you might be wondering what would happen if we set it to 1024 instead of 4 or 8, which is the maximum. I think it won't do much, or it might even make Stockfish behave weaker. So, just set the number according to the number of cores your phone has. A viewer asked how to enable NNUE in Stockfish. Well, you can see that Stockfish 16.1 already has NUE installed. Now let's move to the next option. Sizeg Probe Depth, which will be set to 1 by default. Erase it and write 100. You don't need to interfere with the other options. Their values are correctly set. Now let's move to the next setting. Go to the menu bar, click on Settings, then Moves. This will be set to 60 moves by default, so change it to Whole Game. Scroll down and turn on the Pondering option. This will allow Stockfish to think about its move while the opponent is thinking. Then, turn on the Show Computer Thinking option. This setting won't affect Stockfish's strength, but will allow you to see the algorithmic information. Now, Stockfish is much more powerful than before, but most of you might be confused about this option. Look, Stockfish 16.1's actual ELO rating is 4000 plus, but when you turn this option on, Stockfish's ELO rating matches the number shown. If I decrease this number to 1320, its ELO rating will be the same. So, if you want to use Stockfish's full strength, never turn this option on. Okay, we've discussed how to increase Stockfish's power. Now let's talk about how to make Stockfish take less time to think and make moves. Let's suppose we're playing as white and Stockfish is playing as black. This time is ours and this one is black's, which is set to two minutes. This means both we and Stockfish have equal time, two minutes each. Now if we want Stockfish to take less time to make a move, we'll need to reduce this timer. So, go to the menu bar, click on Settings, then Time, and select 15 seconds. Then go back and click on New Game. Now. Both sides have 15 seconds each, but the plot twist is that Stockfish only has 15 seconds while we have unlimited time. As you can see, our timer reached zero and started running in the negative, but we can still make our move. Now, you can either go directly to my description box and download both files or follow my steps. First, open your favorite web browser and search for what's shown on the screen. Click on the first website, scroll down, and click on the Download Here option. This will redirect you to the download page where you can download the file. We've downloaded the endgame file. Now we need the chess opening file. Droidfish already has opening files available, but they have a very small collection. So open your favorite web browser again and search for what's shown on the screen. Click on the first website, scroll down, and download the file. But make sure to click on the zip link, not the source link. Now we've downloaded both the opening and endgame files, and we need to install them in the Droidfish app. You can use any file manager, but I recommend Google's official file manager. Scroll down and click on Internal Storage. Now find the two files we just downloaded. Click on the files and select the Extract option. First, we'll apply the opening file. Open this folder, select all three files, click on the Move option, open the Droidfish folder, and then the Book folder, and paste these files here. Now open Droidfish. You can see the default openings listed below. Click on the menu bar, then select Opening Book, and select the Hierarchs option. Now you'll see that the number of openings has significantly increased. We've applied the Opening Book file, now it's time for the Endgame file. Go back to the folder where the Endgame file is located. Open this folder, select the folder, click on the Move option, Open the Droidfish folder, then the RTB folder, and paste it here. Now go to Droidfish. Click on the three dots in the folder, then Folder Info, and copy its path. Now open Droidfish. Go to the menu bar, then Settings. Scroll down, click on Endgame Table Base, then tap on Syzygy Directory, and paste the copy text here. Finally, type a slash at the end and click OK. Now, whenever your chess game reaches the endgame with five or six pieces on the board, the TB option will activate, meaning the table base will be used. If this option doesn't appear, you may have made a mistake while applying the endgame file. 
Let me give you a bonus tip on how to make Stockfish think faster. First, click on the menu bar. Go to Settings. Click on Use Arrow and select Max 1 Arrow. Then, click on the Bulb option. Now, you can see Stockfish's best move from both sides. Whether you or your opponent makes a move, Stockfish will instantly show its best move. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Goodbye.